but I wanted to check in with you and follow up because something really cool happened yesterday. Hey there, and welcome to Mind Spark by Stacey Ray. That's me, Stacey Ray, and this is my beautiful family. Mike, my semi-pro football player, Gabe, the bassist of Only Child, Zeke, an amazing songwriter and youth player, and my spitfire, Layla, the crescendo of our family. I have a little bit of not so great news. I mean, nothing serious, but um, I was working early this morning. So I guess I started technically last night, but it was a little bit over an hour long video. And when I was finished, I went to click, do like a quick review of it. And I was like, I'm gonna go to bed, get my sleep and I'll wake up early and I'll edit it and everything, get it put out there in time, you know, for you know 12 o'clock Eastern on Sunday. And as I start playing the video, I'm noticing my eyes are glowing. I'm like, oh, I hope there's a way to get rid of that. And I mess with the volume and the volume's not playing. I unmute it, volume up. I'm like, oh my God, I never turned on my mic. I never turned on my mic. So one hour of my life completely gone with nothing to show for other than that my eyes are glowing and there's no sound. <sighs> By the time I got done with it, I think it was like 1230 something AM and I'm like, I can't do this. So I didn't get to record a new video for this week. So part three is going to be delayed. Just know that I need to redo that and I'm hoping to have that up by Wednesday now. I apologize. Life is life and over here, but I wanted to check in with you and follow up because something really cool happened yesterday. You guys know that we just recently moved. And in the process of all that, Zeke and I are looking for a home church, right? Don't mind me, guys. I just rolled out of bed. <laughs> um, we're looking for this home church. And I am very particular, all right? So we would identify as non-denominational Christian. I ain't putting God in a box, but I do believe that Jesus is the Messiah, right? What I look for in a church is that it is operating as Jesus instructed us, right? Uh, he says that he's leaving us his Holy Spirit and that these are the, the gifts of the Spirit and, and all that. So when I look for a church, I want to see a church that's operating in the gifts of the Spirit. I want to see that there is gifts of prophecy. I want to see that people are speaking in tongues and that they're loving one another and all those different types of things. Like I want to see them all combine and work together as the body of Christ is supposed to, right? I don't want to see clicks in a church. That is like the biggest, ugh, yuck, in my opinion. Um, I don't want to see clicks. I don't want to see any sort of a division. Like to me, a click is, a, is some form of division. Um, I want to feel welcome, but I don't want it to feel forced or fake. So we went to this local church and we've been investigating it for a bit. So we were supposed to go last week. Vehicle died. Vehicle died a night before. And we ended up not going to the church because by the time everything was situated and fixed, I had like, I think 15, 20 minutes to get there. And I was just like, no, not happening. So this church has three services that we found, right? It's Saturdays in the evening and then Sunday mornings. There's two different ones, an early and then a, a little bit later. And we looked at their website and i'm like diving deep like what kind of groups do they have and i do know somebody that goes to this church but saturday would work best for me i'm not a morning person <laughs> i'm a late 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 night person and that's just because that's when i can get things done looking on online and i see that they have like a youth group they have these other different groups like marital groups and all that um and they're doing a baptism soon. Now, one thing you guys don't know, because I have yet to share it, is for the past, I'd say, year plus, Zeke has been very much wanting to get baptized. And we just didn't know how to go about it. You know, do I take him up to, 
you know, a local stream and, you know, submerge them into that and do it ourselves or, or, you know, whatever, you know, I just want it to be special because it is a very special moment spiritually in his life said to him, I said, hey, just so you know, this place is having a baptism soon. Um, but I don't want you to think that you have to. And I know this is a place you've never been before. So do not feel like you have to, you know, have it done here. Why don't we just go to a service? We'll see how we like it. And if it's something we're interested in, like if it, if it intrigues us, if we feel like we could belong here, let's pursue it and see what happens from there and he's like you know yep all right so right before we go in to the church or the building um we're talking and we're like well not talking but we're praying and we're like you know god just speak to us through this the sermon you know we're here to meet with you you know all that so we get in there and zeke and i like we're trying to find you know, a spot to sit. It's huge, huge building with, well, yeah, it's a huge building, but lots of seats inside. Temperature's comfortable. It's a little bit more frou-frou than what I'm, I'm accustomed to. And that's just because I'm very, I'm a very simple person in a lot of things. But when it comes to church, I'm a simple person. As long as the heart and the spirit of the Lord is there, like, you don't need projectors and fancy lights and a big stage and all that. But this church has a lot of those things. So they have a video playing on these projectors and it's going through like different things that's going on at the church. It says about baptism and signups are by today, 8, 8-11. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Z, like, did you see that? Like, you need to make up your decision quick. But yeah, so he was like, mm. you know, Zeke's not like when you're when we're out in public, Zeke's a lot more reserved than what he is at home. At home, he's funky, fun, and he's a jokester, all that. But when we're out in public, he kind of takes a step back, reserved, more reserved, all that type of stuff. So he's like, mm. you know. They talked about the youth retreat that's coming up and all these other things. And then the pastor comes out. And he's saying about how we're starting this new series. I think two-part series. And we're going to talk about the acts or the traditions or like things that I'm not saying it right, and I can't think of the word that he used, but the things that we do as Christians that are supposed to be done and why they're why we do them. It's like a lot of people don't know why. So he said, first part is going to be about baptism, and the second part is going to be about communion. And I'm like, And Zeke like side eyes me and I side eye him and I'm like, you know, and it was just wild. It was so wild. I learned a lot of things that I didn't know. So I was very happy with that because yes, I want to see all the acts, you know, play out within the church and the church body, you know, functioning as one. But I also want to learn. I don't want to just go in there and do the acts and not have, you know, the fruit do I mean the fruit or the, the spiritual food, right? To fill us up. I want both, right? So I want to have my spirit fed while we're there. I want to learn and I want to know, okay, Hebrew word, Greek word, translations, you know, all that different type of stuff. Tell me what a ruah means. Tell me what agape love means. You know, like I want to know more, right? Um, take what I'm reading in the Bible and give me more context to it, right? That's what I want. 
but he's doing that and he's talking about baptism and how it is to it means to immerse and he's saying about how jesus did it what he said you know which i knew these you know those types of things like that jesus went to john the baptist and john the baptist was like whoa like i should be doing this you know you, you should be doing this to me not the other way around right but he went into detail about the three reasons why we get baptized and and or why we should get baptized and and what happens supernaturally and i was just like i was like so hyper focused or fixated on what he was talking about because that is that is <clears throat> that is where we separate god or jesus holy spirit right with who he really is in a lot of places like a lot of people are like oh god jesus woo. you know it's just an everyday everybody's heard about him and they don't dive deep and they're yet like especially my generation has even my generation has dove so deep into witchcraft because of the fascination behind it right if you would really get to know god and jesus like it is a very supernatural thing and it's a very intriguing mystery just like your quote unquote witchcraft but let's just put it in this context like this over here versus god this isn't going to save your life this is going to wind you up somewhere else whereas this is going to save your soul i should say not your life your soul you know Wow, how do we get here? <laughs> Baptism. Um, let's reassess uh, and come back to where we were. But he's talking, this pastor is talking about all these different things about baptism. And I'm just like, oh, wow. Like He's talking about dedicating your children at a young age and how some other churches baptize at a young age. And you, there's no scripture to back this up, but there's scripture to back this up, you know, like with baptisms. And I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Like, this is awesome. And I'm thinking in like the whole time that I'm taking this into my spirit, I'm thinking, this is God talking to Zeke. Like, this is God telling Zeke, like, hey, you want to get baptized? I'm going to meet you halfway. And I'm going to say, hey, I have the place. What are you going to do? You know? And, uh, at the end of the service, the pastor did not an altar call, but he's like, you know, talking to us. And there's music playing in the background to kind of set the ambience. And he's, you know, doing a call to action. Like, you know, if you want to, if you want to be baptized, you know, go out to the welcome center, you know, sign, sign up out there, you know. And everything stops. And I look at Zeke and I said, what are you going to do? He's like, I want to sign up. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. So we did. Um, we went out to the welcome center. We handed in our contact card because we were first time, you know, mem uh, yeah, first time visitors of the church. And I came home, went onto the website and filled out everything so that he can be baptized on the 24th of, April, uh, yeah, of August. And he has invited some important people in his life to be there. And I'm super excited um, to share all of it with him. Now, the crazy thing is he put down for me to help baptize him, which truly means a lot because I walked Zeke through salvation. Um, and that's a whole different story, but long story short, we were on our way back from uh, like a 45 minute drive to Long John Silver's. And I asked him in the vehicle if he wanted to have Jesus in his heart and to be quote unquote saved. And he said, yeah, and we in the car crying, going down a, a highway. Oh, geez.
to be a part of that for him and to be there for him, not only as his physical mom, but as a spiritual mom, it's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Um, I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. Like I'm, I'm new to this church. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm excited for this step in his life, this step in his spiritual, uh, maturity. Like I told you guys before, Zeke is just different. Like God has anointed that boy and given him the gift of um, evangelism, like, and he's in this infancy stage of that. But it's so it's been so evident to me. Like he has no, I shouldn't say he has no filter because he is very respectable in that aspect. But like, if he loves somebody, he has the heart of Jesus, where he is going to chase after you. He's going to leave the 99 to get that one. So if he loves you and he knows that you don't have a relationship with Jesus yet, he is going to chase after you fiercely and let you know just how much Jesus loves you and just how much Jesus desires to have you in the kingdom of God with him. But that's just Zeke. And yeah, but anyway, so I apologize for not getting that video up, but I think there's something, there's a reason behind it, whether it's this video needs to be seen or there needs to be a delay for the other video to be seen by someone. Uh, I'm just trusting God's timing on all of this, but know that within the next week, <laughs> a new video will be up. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for hanging out with me and with my lack of makeup and not judging me. I appreciate you and wherever you're at, wherever you are, no matter what day it is, I hope you are blessed. Bye.